Welcome to a new video. I know it's been quite a while since I last posted to YouTube and that's because I decided to take a little break so I didn't film anything for the past few weeks but I thought I would start a vlog today and right now we are on our way to the Japanese supermarket because I needed to buy some sliced flank steak for this recipe that I'm going to make tomorrow. The beef needs to marinate overnight so we're buying it today so then I can prep it and then cook it tomorrow. I'm also going to make some clams and throughout this quarantine I've kind of been doing a bit more cooking than usual. I actually really like to cook. I just never have the time to cook. California is kind of um, not doing so well with the coronavirus and so we're kind of still sticking around at home. I'll show you all the cool things that the Japanese supermarket has because it's different than what your traditional American markets have. Got our masks on and we are here it's kind of empty actually look at all these mochis that they have this is white chocolate there's a mango rum raisin chocolate black sesame they have so many different flavors sweet potato this one is chocolate banana and there's a caramel pudding honey cranberry green tea that's like very typical i've tried this cake before a while ago and it's so good and i can't believe they have these cookies i didn't know it was a japanese cookie brand but nima marcus used to sell them and we would buy them all the time our favorites were these cigar ones our family is trying to be healthy and not eat so many sweets right now so i don't think we're gonna buy any but I need to go find the ingredients for my recipe tomorrow. And oh, these are the most amazing. I've never had one because they contain dairy in them and I can't eat dairy, but I've heard so many good things about it. Today is July 21st, so I'm going to go do a workout, but I'll first show you everything that we got from the store, and then I will prep the steak for marinating. And this is everything we ended up getting. These lotus chips that are seaweed flavored, some rice crackers, this is turnips, pears, bean sprouts, we got a lot of green onion, some vegetables, this is the hair dye that my mom uses, these Yakult drinks. This is the beef I'm going to marinate tonight, and my mom also got some salmon fish head. This is garlic, some mild soy sauce, white sesame seeds, hamachi kama, and this is the beef that my mom is going to use. And then we got a super sharp knife. This is the recipe I'm going to use. It's for beef bulgogi and I found it on all recipes. It's really easy. Basically, you just combine all of these ingredients in a bowl, then marinate it, and then the next day you grill it. So let's do it. It is a new day and today it's July 22nd. It's 1.36 p.m. My face looks kind of shiny because this morning I had some Zoom meetings. So I put on makeup to get a little bit more presentable and ready. And I just took it all off and put on a face oil. So that's why it looks kind of greasy. But I'm going to run to the grocery store now because I want to get the clams for the clam recipe that I'm going to make this evening and I'm going to do the weekly grocery run as well. This morning I also got some packages so I will open those with you guys once I get back. But let's go to the grocery store. I just finished grocery shopping and I got all of our weekly groceries. 
but unfortunately I was not able to get the clams that I need for the recipe tonight so I'm gonna stop by this other little seafood restaurant that also has like a little seafood shop inside because I need these large clams for the recipe since I'm making baked stuffed clams and this grocery store only had these very small ones I'm hoping this little restaurant will have the large clams that I need Oh my god, they only have two left. Oh, hi. Yes, um, do you have any large clams? How many do you need? Twelve. Mission accomplished. We got the clams. I'm so glad because when I first entered and I saw the clam tray It was like empty. There was only two or three left and I was like, oh no Because I needed 12 of them for tonight But fortunately when I asked the guy if he had any more he said they did have some in the back So I was able to get all the ones that I needed so I can make the recipe tonight for my family because I'm vegan So obviously I don't eat clams, but now I really really want to go home and have lunch because I'm super hungry and it's 2 43 and I haven't eaten like all day today it's been a little while since I got back from the grocery store and right now it's 4 48 so I'm going to open these packages we have this big one that was in my car that I picked up when I left because I saw it by the gate and then also these two smaller packages let's start with this small one first this first piece is from Net-A-Porter and it's this little Alessandra Rich tweed skirt. I also got the matching bra top and the jacket to it, but I found it on a different website because Net-A-Porter was sold out. So when I get everything, I'll try it all on for you, but it looks super cute as a set. This skirt has these classic crystal buttons that Alessandra Rich is known for and it's this beautiful yellow tweed with these little sequins woven throughout, so it's kind of sparkly. This package is from a brand called Ottolinger, Ottolinger, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, and I'll show you the three things that I got. So this first one is a denim vest, and it has these cool like stitching line details on it. And the back looks like this. I'm really loving denim pieces, especially for summer. And I also got the matching jeans to them, or the kind of shorts. These shorts have the same kind of design as the top, and so I can wear it together or separately. I think these denim shorts will just be really cute with like a white t-shirt or anything. In general, denim is super easy to style and really versatile. So these are the first two denim pieces. And then I also got this really interesting little vest. It has all these zippers on them and I really like how it's kind of asymmetrical. There's like a zipper that goes around the side here and one in the middle and then another one down the middle. I'll have to put this on to show you guys because it's kind of a fun and interesting piece. Now it's time for this big one and I have some really amazing pieces in here. So this first piece, it's still in this plastic garment bag and I'll have to put it on for you. I think everything in this box, I'll have to try it on to show you because they're all wrapped in this plastic. And it's these black mirrored like jogger pants. I don't know if you remember, but I have the dress version of these pants. And I found the pants and I had to get them because they are so amazing and so cool. And Balmain is one of my favorite designers. And I especially loved their embellished pieces. And so this pants has like these mirrored pieces all over it. So it's very sparkly, especially when you're under the sun or in the light. The other Balmain piece I got is this bodysuit. And this bodysuit is also so incredible because it has this beautiful crystal and pearl details all over it. And the back is completely covered in sequins. I hope this bodysuit works because I usually wear a 34 and there was only a size 36 left. 
so fingers crossed it won't be too big i might have to do alterations but i think alterations on something like this would be really complicated and the next piece is this fall mom blazer and this one is also kind of difficult to see because it's in this plastic bag sorry i'm doing this quickly because i have to start prepping dinner soon because our family is trying to have dinner early we're aiming for dinner at 6 30 so it's almost five so i'm trying to go through everything quickly this is just like a blazer and it has this like interesting uh labels on it and i love how it's like white and black and contrasting the back is just all black and it has these two like little white pockets on the bottom and our last piece is these pants from balmain these are a pair of jeans. The color is actually kind of gross. This is not what it looked like online. Online it was like a much lighter beige and so it looked cooler. I think these are gonna have to go back. And this just has like their logo stripe design all throughout. So that is it for everything. There's no more in here. And I'm going to put all these things away and then start prepping dinner. I decided to try on a few of these pieces before I start prepping dinner and this is the Autolinger set. So this is the denim vest and these are the shorts. I actually really like the shorts. The denim vest is a little bit interesting. I'm not sure I like the way that it's cut kind of like, like this. But I think I can make it work. It looks kind of cool unbuttoned but we'll see. This is the Alessandra Rich skirt, and like I said, I have the matching bra and the blazer that's coming. So right now I just have the skirt, but it fits perfectly, and I think it's super cute, especially for summer. I cannot wait to get the other pieces and see how the total look looks like. This is the Balmain jeans, and they look a little better on than they do just in the bag when I took them out. I'm still not really loving them. I don't know, I think it's the color that's throwing it off or maybe the rips is a little bit too much. The dress definitely looks much better in my opinion. I don't know if I'm going to keep these pants and I also feel like I'm gonna make all of these little mirror pieces come off. I don't know, you guys, let me know what you think. Maybe it'll look better with heels. I think for sure with heels it actually looks better. The last thing I'm going to try on is this blazer, and the blazer fits perfectly. I am obsessed with it. You can see the label design a little bit better here, and I love how they did it overlapping and like contrasting colors. And this part is satin, and of course it has the classic Balmain gold buttons. And I think the shape and tailoring of it is just so beautiful, just like all the other Balmain blazers. I have their classic one in like six or seven colors, and I haven't actually worn any of them. I think I've only worn the blue one before, and a blue velvet one that I have, and then this light blue one. And I really need to wear my other ones, but I feel like Balmain blazers are classics, so they will never really get old or out of style, if you know what I mean. I'm going to go prep dinner now and try the other pieces on later tonight. So I'm gonna change and head downstairs to cook. I just took these clams out of their shells and now I need to cut them up and then we will make the filling for these clams. are all done and I just put a pinch of Parmesan cheese on top of each one of them and now I'll put these in the oven and then get started on the beef. This looks nice and marinated but it's a little bit stuck together. I think it looks pretty good. I added some green onions on top so it looks a little fancier. And here are the clams. I ended up making quite a lot of them. Hopefully these taste good too. I kind of smell like beef bulgogi, but that's okay. I'm going to have dinner now with my family and that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a super short vlog. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you don't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!